Joining me live now here in the studio is investigative journalist and author of not one, but two exciting new books, Andrew L. Urban. Andrew, great to see you. How are you? Very well. Thanks for having me, Ron. Uh, now, you've got two great books out now about two amazing characters. Uh, one is, of course, The Boxing Butterfly about Margaret Keneen. And we've spoken to Margaret Keneen on Outsiders. Uh, this is a terrific story. You've also, at the same time, I don't know how you do it, you've also simultaneously got a book out about Zelensky. So, I mean, the man the whole world is talking about. This is the first basic biography about uh, Zelensky that's out. So take us through, first of all, Zelensky. What's he like? Um, Zelensky is what, what Hollywood would call uh, on a hero's journey. It's one of Hollywood's classic storylines. Yeah. Um, he had to overcome uh, his... I mean, he was born in a grunt town in the Soviet era uh, and he had bullies at school because he's not very big. He's kind of a short guy. Uh, but he overcame that. And then he became a successful uh, comedic actor. Exactly. And you, you could say that um, on his TV show, Servant of the People, he rehearsed his role as the real president because he went from being a teacher who sort of... He became famous for a rant against corruption. And because of the truth behind that supposedly... Well, it was a satire... Um, he actually, and in the show, he becomes president. Um, and his popularity was such that uh, when the time came, he, he convinced himself that he should do the same. He should run for president. And people were saying to him, but you've got no experience in politics. And he said, look, you don't have to have experience in politics. You just have to be a decent person, which I thought was a great answer. <laughs> That's great. Now, you yourself escaped communism, so you must have a sort of sympathy with... Zelensky, the L in your Andrew L. Urban is in honour of? My wonderful grandfather, um, who was my sort of male role model growing up, um, he was head of anti-espionage before the war. And I remember my grandmother telling me these extraordinary stories of how he was captured, taken to Siberia, he escaped, he walked back, he walked back. Anyway, lots of, wow. lots of great stories about him. And so the L is a tribute to him. And his name was? Lajos in Hungarian, Lajos, which is right. Louis or Louis. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, at the same time as working on the Zelensky book, you've also completed uh, the biography of Margaret Kanin, The Boxing Butterfly. Again, great story. The, uh, tell us the, where the title comes from. OK. Um, I'm sure that many of uh, your viewers will remember the, um, the bout, what I call the ICAC bout, uh, is the name of the chapter in the book, when she was targeted... Uh, by ICAC. By yes. ICAC. Uh, and then ICAC Commissioner Megan Latham um, had been uh, quoted uh, in, in some reports that she was giving to a lecture to some law students, and she was saying, you know, if you get tired, come work at... ICAC, it's like pulling wings off butterflies. Which is horrific. The idea that a legal entity is <laughs> yeah. just pulling the wings off butterflies. Now, the thing, Margaret, the boxing... Yes. Yeah, she's a boxer. <laughs> she's a boxer, and she fought back. It's uh, a great uh, story uh, of fighting back. So, um, did you see any similarities between these two personalities? It's an obvious question. You've got two books, two amazing characters. Well, th there are... The one, the one thing that is similar is they're both champions... Uh, but they are totally different people. Um, and the books, you know, I started working with Margaret um, three years ago. The Zelinsky book had to be done really quickly, so it was done in a matter of weeks. So yeah. they, it, it, I was, I'd finished the book uh, Boxing Butterfly when I was asked to do the Zelinsky book and the Wilkinson Publishing here, who were, they asked me to do it quickly because their American partners had asked them for to be the first with the Zelinsky book, you know, so knuckle so battle, down. battle of the champions. So, yeah. um, so tell us more about, um, basically, Zelensky. Do you think, from what you've learnt about him, is he going to go the distance? What's going to happen to him? Well, the Russians aren't going to give up, no, as you know. No, judging on his track record and, the, and, and why, you know, somebody labelled him Churchill in a T-shirt is because of his defiance of uh, the bully in the Kremlin. And he and his nation uh, put up such a good fight 
they bloodied Russia's nose. And until then, the West was kind of half-hearted about, you know, supporting him. They gave him some weapons, but not enough. And he was very critical of that. And um, I, in the book, we talk about how the US and the UK in particular really let uh, Ukraine down. Because in 1994, the UK, US, uh, the Russian Federation and the Ukraine signed an agreement was part of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty in which Ukraine would give up its nuclear arsenal of some 2,000 warheads uh, in return for a, an agreement from those powers to protect their sovereignty. Right. And uh, Exactly. And uh, so you can read more about that. Andrew, we've got to go. Uh, people can buy both books or either book at uh, wilkinsonpublishing.com.au. Uh, Zelensky and, of course, the boxing butterfly, Margaret Kanin. Thanks so much for coming and chatting to us. Pleasure. Andrew Pleasure. And good luck. Can't, so many books. Stay talented.